December 19th, Saturday of the third week of Advent. A reading from the book of Judges. There was a certain man from Zorah of the clan of the Danites whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren and had borne no children. An angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Though you are barren and have had no children, yet you will conceive and bear a son. Now then, be careful to take no wine or strong drink, and to eat nothing unclean. As for the son you will conceive and bear, no razor shall touch his head, for this boy is to be consecrated to God from the womb. It is he who will begin the deliverance of Israel from the power of the Philistines. The woman went and told her husband, A man of God came to me. He had the appearance of an angel of God, terrible indeed. I did not ask him where he came from, nor did he tell me his name. But he said to me, You will be with child and will bear a son. So take neither wine nor strong drink, and eat nothing unclean. For the boy shall be consecrated to God from the womb until the day of his death. The woman bore a son and named him Samson. The boy grew up, and the Lord blessed him. The Spirit of the Lord stirred him. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety, for you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord, O oh God, I will tell of your singular justice. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah of the priestly division of Abijah. His wife was from the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both were righteous in the eyes of God, observing all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blamelessly. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and both were advanced in years. Once when he was serving as priest in his division's turn before God, according to the practice of the priestly service. He was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord to burn incense. Then when the whole assembly of the people was praying outside, at the hour of the incense offering, the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was troubled by what he saw, and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will drink neither wine nor strong drink, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers toward children and the disobedient to the understanding of the righteous to prepare a people fit for the Lord. Then Zechariah said to the angel, how shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. 
And the angel said to him in reply, I am Gabriel, who stand before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce to you this good news. But now you will be speechless and unable to talk until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled at their proper time. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and were amazed that he stayed so long in the sanctuary. But when he came out, he was unable to speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them, but remained mute. Then, when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this time, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she went into seclusion for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me at a time when he has seen fit to take away my disgrace before others. The Gospel of the Lord. December 19th. The first reading comes from the book of Judges, chapter 13, verses 2 to 7 and 24 to 25a. This is the Annunciation story that leads to the birth of the judge of Israel named Samson. He's a Nazarite, and in the Old Testament, Nazarite means that he wouldn't shave his head, he wouldn't drink wine, or eat any of the product of the grape. He was to be dedicated to the Lord in a special way. And in fact, he will become one of the heroes of Israel. Although his story is a bit violent, a bit strange, nevertheless, he rescued Israel from the power of the Philistines who were oppressing Israel. The Annunciation story of Samson is a prefiguring of the Annunciation story of John the Baptist. Luke 1, 5 to 25. We hear that one of the priests named Zechariah went to the temple to offer his offering. Now there were so many priests that there were 24 clans of priests and you would only go once every 24 weeks. And even when you were there, you had to draw lots, almost play dice, to decide who would go in because the one who actually offered the sacrifice received the skin of the animal, certain choice cuts. So it was a lucrative position. Zechariah is chosen to go in and while he's in, He meets the Archangel Gabriel, who announces that his and Elizabeth's prayers have been answered, they will have a son. Now Zechariah finds it difficult to believe that he's going to have a son at his old age when Elizabeth is so old, and he doubts. As a punishment, Gabriel announces that Zechariah will be mute until the fulfillment of the promise. Zechariah has said many words with his prayers, but he never really believed the words of his own prayers. Therefore, the angel is saying, be quiet, wait, God will fulfill this. And like Samson, John the Baptist will be a Nazarite, that he won't drink wine. His responsibility will be that of a new Elijah, to call fathers to their sons, to call them all to the following of the Lord. When Zechariah leaves the sanctuary, he can't speak, and immediately the people think he's had a vision. Now, if a priest were to leave the sacristy and not be able to speak, most people would say he had a stroke. But it's possible that Zechariah, simply by the glow in his face, manifests that something extraordinary has happened. He goes home and Elizabeth becomes pregnant. The words of the archangel are fulfilled. And the child to be born will be John the Baptist, who will be the one who will be the new Elijah for Israel, the one who will call the people of Israel back to the Lord so that they can follow Jesus. And may God bless us.